So, I ordered my cabinets here from Next Day Cabinet, and I've already put together all of the other upper ones. This is the last upper one that I have. I've already got six of them there. And what I'm going to say about these cabinets and what I like about them is um, the construction of them is really good. And I'd say that um, I could have had them put together by the company itself. It would have been, I think, an extra $500 to have them put together. But the problem with that is then I've got to carry all of the cabinets on my truck, in which case it's going to be a couple of trips. And after doing a couple of the cabinets, you kind of learn the stroke on here. Now, the way the cabinets are, I think it's actually better being able to put them together on the site. A lot of times, if you've gone to Home Depot and if you're a contractor like me, and you've gotten some of the particle board cabinets and things that, you know, the bodies are just not that well put together, that sometimes just getting them off the truck, getting them into the house and things like that, uh, especially if it's like a Lazy Susan cabinet or a sink base, they get racked and they really get out of whack. Um, we definitely saved money in the long run by putting them together ourselves and actually buying the cabinets. And the things that I'll say that I like about this, okay? First of all, it's not particle board. At least it is half inch plywood. You can see the edges right in there where it is like birch plywood. And then of course it's top coated. The next thing I like to make it easy to actually put together is they have these metal clips in here. And in there, it basically is a one-way lock. So once it hits in there, you'll hear a click and it'll lock in place. I'm putting like Gorilla Glue clear adhesive in here. If some of it squeezes out, it's okay because it's clear. So I do like that as far as the construction goes on here. It's actually pretty easy to put together. The back of these is eighth inch plywood but it has a half inch frame that's on here that gets screwed to it. So when you screw the cabinet together, you're actually going through, you're actually going through this solid piece. See, this is the top or the bottom of it. And you can see where it's been dadoed out for it. So you're actually going through this solid piece and then a half inch plywood before you actually go into the wall. So it's gonna to help to hold this thing together well. Um, another thing that I really and truly love, because you don't get this too often, especially when you're buying cabinets from Home Depot, is the shelves. The shelves are three quarter inch plywood. Look at that. That's solid. So they're not going to warp. They're not going to twist. They're going to actually be in really good shape. So I like the way this is constructed. Um, if the bottom of the cabinet gets wet, because this is what happens a lot of times with cabinets, and had they went through and got the uh, cabinets refaced, they would have had a problem with the bottom of the cabinet dropping out, because it is particle board. And they put basically either uh, a, a vinyl coating on it, or basically it's almost like a, a plastic wallpaper on it. And if there's enough water that sits there, it penetrates it and then the bottom drops out of it. And once the bottom drops out of it, it's really just wasted. So at least this is plywood. It should last longer, hopefully, than it would typically. So I like the construction of it and being able to put it together here, keep it from getting racked on the truck or beat up and everything else. The way it's packed in here is packed really, really nice. You can see the way the boxes are. I literally put all of the boxes on the truck for the whole kitchen along with all my tools. But you can see how well this is actually packaged. It's got the bubble wrap and everything on here. It's a nice snug fit and everything in here is really, really good. And so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and put this one together so you can see what I'm doing here on this. Now hopefully I won't look like an idiot, but I'm putting in my clear Gorilla Glue, and though I'm not being paid by Gorilla Glue, got your back piece, and that's going to, let's turn this down so you can see, it's going to click into place. See that? Boom. Do the same thing over here. Okay. There we 
all the way down. Yep, down all the way down. There we go. You heard that click, right? So now the back piece goes on here. And I'm going to run just a little bit of glue on here. The glue will help keep this from racking and being able to move. It'll make it stronger and also will help to seal up the joints. So that way, if there is a moisture problem, it won't be able to get all the way through the cabinet. Boom. Do the same thing with our glue. Put in our dado. And you see our clips. See up here, you can see our clip right here. Where it's at. Oops. There you go. Okay, our little tripod here. You see where our clip is right here? Get that corner in, get that lined up, and look, clicks, locks right in place. instruction booklet here, a <laughs> booklet I should say, it's actually a page, now by buying the cabinets this way, cost wise, these are about, and, and they have many different styles and grades, um, these are actually ones that they keep in stock, and since we are, are um, homeowners are moving in this weekend, time was of the essence, and so we were able to get these cabinets uh, in four days. So you can see what happens, look, these are all pre-drilled here, and these are going to go into that solid wood, so this will lock in the back of this to keep it from racking. And with that glue, we're not going to have to worry about it coming apart once that Gorilla Glue goes. Okay, now. That right there is already tightened the whole thing up, and you'll see we've got the same pieces all the way around here. Those are going to lock in when we take our front. We're going to take our front here, take off all our bubble wrap and stuff, so we can get into it. going to do is we're going to go ahead and put glue in our channels here so when it goes together it'll be able to seal onto that thing. So to be able to, here's what's amazing to me because I knew time was of the essence to get this job done. And 
I wanted to help my friends get in here. So you're just gonna line up our clips. Okay. And then boom. 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 So now, what we do is, when they're in place and right, you end up putting a screw in here which locks that together. So we'll go around all of the clips here. You see how nice that is? We'll put those on there, and that's it. And that's done. That's a cabinet put together. And this is a great way to get some cabinets. So cost-wise, by doing it this way, if I went to Home Depot and bought the cabinets, um, the in-store ones are all particle board, which are like carcasses like these. And you really want to stay away from these if you can, because this is where I talk about if it gets wet, the bottom of it literally will rot out. Um, that's basically what's happened in this one. It's all bowed out. But these being built out of the plywood, it's definitely an upgrade. Um, the drawers are all solid wood as opposed to being particle board. Um, I haven't put together the base cabinet yet, but I got a Lazy Susan that's over there. I got the sink base, and then I got uh, a drawer base cabinet and um, another base cabinet to go. Um, so you can get any configuration. They have the pantry cabinets if you need those, or the oven cabinets, and it's just a matter of what kind you want. And you can see here, I'm laying these all out. So this one will go right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get these installed and then I'm gonna put the base ones on and come Thursday, we'll have the granite countertop company come in. So I'm, I'm loving these cabinets, but definitely the cost of these would have been similar to what it would have cost to buy in stock ones that aren't as good from Home Depot. No disrespect to Home Depot or anything like that, but going to a company that deals in just cabinets like next day cabinets you're going to get a better quality cabinet and be able to have more variety than what you would from Home Depot. And that's it. That's as easy, about as easy as it gets.